So Matthew's just um, slipped over and hurt his ankle. Today is just going to be one of those days where you just got to suck it up and push through. Come on, come on. Oh. Bloody hell, this is an absolute slog. Oh man, I nearly stepped on a massive red belly snake. That'll definitely get the heart pumping. Mother Nature, I beg you for mercy. I might die getting out of here. <laughs> Well, good day, guys. So, back out with Massey this weekend. We just hiked into this really pretty little river here behind us, and we've just uh, inflated the pack rafts, and we're out here for a nice little three-day pack raft trip down this mm -hmm. yeah, really beautiful river, though. It's been pretty dry recently, haven't had a whole lot of rain. It's looking pretty um, low, but still keen to give it a crack and see what it's like down there. We don't know too much about this river. I like, haven't found much online or anything like that. We just basically picked a point on the map, decided to come check it out, and yeah, really keen to yeah, see what's in store. And have you got all your stuff, mate? Who knows? Have you got your keys? Stick around to find out. <laughs> 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 right, let's get out of there. <laughs> All right, we're off. So we've got about 18 kilometers to do over the next three days. So the river, yeah, is pretty low at the moment, so it might be a fair bit of walking. But I'm still really keen to check this stretch out. Um, but look at this, yeah, spot on the map for ages and. Like I said, I haven't really yeah, found too much info online, so I really don't really know um, yeah, what to expect down river, but I think it should be yeah, pretty nice, so. There's already proven to be a fair bit of obstacles on this river, like heaps of strainers. So yeah, there's a lot of timber falling over, pretty tight water as well, and quite bouldery, so. Definitely gonna make for an interesting 18 kilometers. So in high water, this stuff would be so dangerous. A lot of timber. Well, it's just started to rain. I think uh, the forecast for today was like one to five mil, and I think tomorrow is meant to be about five to 10 mil, and then the day after like another 10 mil as well. So yeah, a bit of a wet weekend. Although if it does rain like this, it might actually yeah, raise the river level a bit, which would actually be quite nice. Oh, big spider. Spider? Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's a tricky river to navigate. You get sections where it's like really nice and deep and good paddling, and you just get to these like boulder sections where it's just absolute maze to get through. Yeah. Whoa, will we get through? Limbo. Man, it's beautiful through here. All the she oaks or casarinas are sort of like closing over the river. Lots of birds too, it's really nice. Pulled over for a quick bite to eat. It's a little bit of a late lunch. What's the time? Like 3.30? 3.20 right now. 3.20. So yeah. It's been pretty slow going, eh? Like, I'm, oh, I don't want to look at the maps. It's rough. We are nowhere near as far as I thought we were going to be. I feel like we never are, though. Nah, never. <laughs> never. 
We always seem to do these rivers when they're like way too low. Mm. <laughs> like the there's a paddle app, um, like a river app that you can get that tells you the river levels and on that it said basically stay home because the river level is too low but look, I'm not going to listen to them, we do yeah. our own thing. Cowards. <laughs> Let's have a look. It's time 3.20. Alright, well I reckon we can make it to this spot that I've got safe for camp. Yep. Hopefully. Good. So I think we're just uh, nearly at the start of that sort of gorge section. And then basically, so like around the corner from that, it looks like there might be a bit of a sandy beach we can camp on. So, fingers crossed. But, oh, I reckon tomorrow is just going to be an absolute slog. Oh no. Judging by the maps from what I remember. Oh. Here's what it is. Here's what it is. <laughs> That's what we come out here to do. That's how we roll. So yeah, we'll get back to you guys in a bit after we get some full bellies. We just saw a little family of goats, and now we're um, they're just entering into sort of that gorge section. It looks like it's, it can be very rocky, that's for sure. coming into man this is some difficult terrain to try and climb over it is just so jaggedy and wet got heavy packs on it's getting late what are we doing with ourselves mate i've got a few more descriptive words <laughs> Man, that was a bloody mission. Honestly, such a slog. But anyway, we think we made it to the end now. So we just, um, yeah, load up the pack rafts again, and we're just gonna start continuing down the river. It's about six o'clock, so we've got about an hour and a half to get, um, get stuck, so I hope we can try and find a campsite pretty soon. That is exactly how we feel right now. <laughs> is this just an advert for uh, alpaca raft? Yeah. <laughs> All right, false alarm. We're going to have to probably chuck the packs on again and walk around this because this is just Boulder City. This won't make it easy for us, will it, mate? No, no, it will not. Literally, it's easy to start camping. Wow. We've gotten ourselves into one hell of a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> This is an absolute slog. Well, I think we found a campsite. That looks like a pretty good option. All right, well, I think we found a pretty decent spot for camp. It's really a nice big sandy beach here. It's got a nice view of all these sort of big rocky outcrops as well. Now, it's getting pretty late. It's like quarter past seven, so we've got about half an hour until it gets dark and the rain started moving as well. So we get camp set up. Unfortunately, though, I didn't bring a tent <laughs> and there's a, a lack of trees around here, which is quite frustrating so I'm gonna have to try and see if we can yeah do something I've got the swag with me as well as a tarp as well so we'll see if we can yeah make something work I 
So here we've got the new Alton walkabout swag. So inside here, I've got all my sleep gear. So I've got the bivy plus a, a minus five quilt plus a insulated sleeping mat and a pillow as well. So all that rolls up into the, this nice little bundle. Oh, the range just moved in. Uh, it got pretty heavy just then for a moment. So we both retreated underneath our types. I think we're gonna have a pretty early night. Like we're not gonna bother trying to get a fire start or anything like that. It's already 8.30, we're absolutely buggered. <laughs> Hungry as well, so pretty much just gonna quickly try and cook up um, something quick for dinner and then just crawl into bed. So it's been a very big day, a lot bigger than we expected. Um, I really didn't think it was gonna be sort of that tough moving down this river. So it's gonna be interesting to see how tomorrow goes. We've Still got a pretty decent chunk uh, to try and smash out tomorrow, so fingers crossed it's not as um yeah as tough as that today. So anyway, I'll catch you guys in the morning. You look beautiful, mate. Uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> This morning had a fair bit of rain last night but really nice sleep though sleeping the swag i was so warm and toasty and comfortable and i think this rain is going to be um yeah, pretty set in for today i think we're meant to get a, a bit of rain today so and also we've got a bit of a slog today as well like i was just checking the maps just then and it seems like yesterday we only did about six kilometers that was over the course of like what six to seven hours worth of, sort of paddling slash walking so yeah moving it at a, what, a kilometer an hour is um yeah definitely less than ideal so see how we go like i said we don't really know what's in store for us today and given the the weather as well it's uh, it's all a bit uncertain at the moment all right so on another note i actually uh, got some stitches on my chest about a week ago i had a couple of moles um two on my chest and actually one on my ass as well so yeah, got them cut out about a week ago, seven days ago now. And uh, look, the doctor did uh, say that going on a pack raft trip probably wasn't advised because it might get infected. But like before I came on this trip, it was looking pretty good. Like it looked really healed up, and I thought I'd I'd be able to risk it. <laughs> anyway, sure enough, that one started to get a little bit infected now. So yeah, I've got I've got one there, and I've got another one up there. You can see that, and also one on my ass as well. So yeah. Not ideal to be out here when you got uh, stitches, but I thought I'd give it a go, not realizing how grueling this, <coughs> grueling this trip was going to be, and especially like a lot of like bum dragging, like the um, pack raft over rocks. So, yeah, the one on my ass, like I'm pretty sure that's infected as well. But anyway, I've got my first aid kit here. Inside this, I've got some um, iodine swabs, and I've just got some like some yeah, bandages as well. So. We'll sob that up, we'll chuck some bandages on and hopefully it doesn't get too much worse. Oh, it's a bit chilly. <laughs> there we go. Now I'll see if I can try to do one of my ass, but I don't think you guys need to see that one. <laughs> Looks like Matthew's hooked into a carp. Oh, get him son. And they say I'm not a fisherman. You'd think I'd have a bull shark at the end of this yeah, road. I know. <laughs> get him up here. Get him up here. Oh, oh, quick, get him, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> oh, 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 no! Oh, oh mate. Oh. oh, well, that was exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> so close. All right, now I didn't really get a good chance to chat to you guys last night about my shelter setup. Um, it was getting pretty dark last night and we're pretty buggered. 
Um, but yeah, I'm just rocking the Alton Hoochie and the Walkabout Swag. Now, this is the first time using the Alton Hoochie and pretty impressed with it. It's like a nice size, um, just for a simple sort of solo shelter, keeps the rain off you. Um, it's nice and light as well, and obviously, yeah, the walkabout swag, I absolutely love. Yeah, it can be nice and toasty last night, and there was no issue with condensation or anything like that. And like, even not having the, the foot pole, yeah, I didn't have any issues with condensation at my feet as well. Now, I also have a lot of people asking me why you would choose like a bivy or a, a, like the walkabout swag over a tent. Now, situations like this, where it's sort of like drizzling or it's raining, you can basically like set up your tarp and you've got plenty of space to sit underneath and like cook up. You're just not confined to like a yeah, inside a tent. So it's actually nice to sit on the tarp and just look around even when it is raining. So I really like using the tarp and then obviously having the bivy underneath it that protects you in case the rain does get really heavy. Um, also protects you from any sort of like spiders and things like that. And so this is definitely my favorite way to sort of camp. I really like this setup. It's nice to be sort of be able to sleep underneath the tarp and just look out at your surroundings rather than sort of being confined to a tent but there's obviously pros and cons for, for both but yeah, this is definitely yeah, my favorite way to camp all right we just finished packing up camp it's already about 10 30 so yeah, we're already falling behind a bit but uh we get back out in the river now hopefully we can um yeah make up some distance hopefully it's not too challenging but we'll see how we go This is a really cool campsite just here. This is where I kind of wanted to get to last night. That's a really cool spot. Look at the, the cliff wall behind me. This is never ending. <laughs> One obstacle after the other. Wow. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a massive red belly black snake over there. He's even got his, um, behind his, like his neck sort of fanned out. He's in like strike pose. Oh, he's a big boy. Definitely back in snake season now. Gotta watch where he step. All right, well, we've just made our way through the gates of hell across uh, the portage of doom. We've now arrived at a beautiful little paddle spot. Thank goodness. <laughs> I think we are walking these rafts more than we're paddling them today. He's on. Yeah, can we pull back? Yeah. Oh! Yeah, get these out of the way. Yeah. Old Rex on over here is trying to catch on the carp. He almost had one. Alright, so for lunch today, we've got a little oat slice with some barbell biltong. This one's the um, just the OG, like the, yeah, I think it's just like the original spice, which is really tasty. I usually eat the salt vinegar ones, but I actually really like this one. This one's really nice. As always, just some killer pythons as well. <sighs> I feel like after today, we've definitely earned a, a good feed. It's been an absolute slog of a morning. Honestly, this river is just like chewing us up. 
All right, so just check the, the maps. Turns out we've done two kilometers in the last, what was it? What was it, two and a half or three and a half hours? 10.30 to 1.30. There you go, so yeah. <laughs> oh, we've got a big paddle ahead of us. Let's get done. So yeah, like ideally we want to make like at least another sort of eight kilometers today, but who knows, eh? I really don't know how far we're going to get. This is honestly the first time I've done a trip where I'm starting to question if I'm actually going to make it home like for the scheduled time. I feel like we might need another day out here. Which if you have to, we can. Because um, today's Friday, so we started on Thursday and the plan was to finish on Saturday. But if we have to push it out to Sunday, we can. Well, um, we've got the Garmin GPS map 66 i which means I can um, yeah, send a satellite message to Laura just to let her know what's happening, but fingers crossed it doesn't get to that. Let's see how we go. And how interesting is this? So I keep coming across the uh, little piles of sort of like the remains of like a freshwater uh, crayfish or like a yabby. And I'm gonna say it's probably like a, a rakali, which is like a water rat. That's probably what's doing it. But yeah, I keep coming across it, it's really interesting. We saw a yabby last night in the water as well, which is pretty cool. Oh, the river claims another victim. Glad to see it's not just us who are struggling. <laughs> God, I can't even imagine doing this in like a plastic or a fiberglass canoe or kayak. It's the best thing about these pack rafts is they are so light, you can just pick them up and carry them around. All right, we just had a bit of a mishap here. So we're just crossing the river. And I got to the end here and I slipped on a rock and fell straight into, into the water. I almost thought I had yeah, um, yeah, twisted my ankle, which I'm so glad I didn't, but I swear I was like that close on it. But anyway, in the meantime, I also knocked off the hat. So we cannot find it. We've um, yeah, scoured through the water all around there and we just cannot find my hat. I would have thought it'd float, but yeah, can't see it anywhere. So we'll keep an eye out for it, but I think this, uh, I think the river's claimed it. <laughs> lucky hat gone. <laughs> it is, I know, my lucky hat. More folk wild, gotta get a new one. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> and then we stepped on a massive red belly snake. Which is just like chucked my, <laughs> chucked my raft and ran. <laughs> oh, bloody hell mate. <laughs> That'll definitely get the heart pumping. This river is just beating us up. <laughs> Well, that little boulder section then was just such a, a punish to get through. <sighs> Good bugger. I don't even want to check the map to see how far we've come. I'm almost too scared. <laughs> so we just keep paddling until it starts to get dark and then we pull up then. That's the thing when you're doing these kinds of trips, like you literally have got no choice but just to uh, continue on. You can't backtrack, you can't really hike out of here. You just gotta keep slogging through it. The only problem is, once you start to get like this tired though, we start to make like little mistakes and like we keep slipping over and things like that and just carrying such heavy packs. Um, yeah, it just takes like one small wrong move to really do some damage. So we've got to be um, yeah, pretty careful. down a really nice stretch. We probably didn't have any boulders for a good couple hundred meters. Really nice deep paddling. We come to this one. Nice big pool here with this massive mountain behind us. It's probably the best part of the trip. It's beautiful. Heard some goats up on the hill as well. And saw a uh was it a long neck turtle as well. I didn't manage to get any uh, footage of him but it's really cool to see. But I think from memory, around the corner here, I think we are, um, I think it's going to be a bit tricky. I think there's a big sort of boulder section. Um, 
a few little sort of like waterfall cascades and stuff. So, unfortunately, yeah, the good stuff doesn't last for too long. So, Matthew's just um, slipped over and hurt his ankle. Not quite sure how bad it is just yet. How's it feeling? Not, not 10 out of 10. <laughs> I was just saying like, like we don't have much walking on this trip, so it should be sweet. <laughs> oh, honestly, you guys don't understand how slippery, slippery these rocks are. Yeah, insane. Oh, even the ones that look dry, like yeah. even just like a couple raindrops on them. Yeah. This place is chewing us up and spitting us out. <laughs> Hasn't even spat us out yet, it's just chewing us up. All right, well, he's back up standing. We're all good. We hope. Yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna push on and yeah, hopefully it's uh, not too badly bruised. Now, extra careful, extra, extra careful. Oh, I think this might be camp. Oh man, what a bloody day. <laughs> How good is this? This is literally like a little paradise. Mate, we bloody did it. We bloody did it. <laughs> what a day. What a day. Man, it feels good to get that pack off. So yeah, got a really nice little campsite here. I'll give you guys a bit of a tour. So yeah, got some nice flat ground here. Nice little swimming hole over here. I'll give you guys a look on this side. Man, how nice is this? Such a beautiful little water hole. You can only imagine in like high water, that waterfall would be absolutely thundering. Such a cool little section of the river just there. Like the geology is really interesting. It's like the river's just carved out these like really deep little punch pools. Man, it feels so good to finally just be at camp, eh? I'm exhausted. Like today was a massive day. Like I think we I calculated just before, we did about seven kilometers today. And I, I just can't believe how slow going this river is. Literally took us all day to you know, get seven kilometers. Man, it's an absolute slog. Uh, tomorrow, I think we've got about four and a half kilometers. Uh, I think the last sort of kilometer of that is meant to be pretty easy, but um, yeah, the next sort of like three to three and a half Ks, even though it sounds like such a short distance, it literally takes like hours to do, like just trying to Drag the pack grass through the river, trying to hike around obstacles, it is just an absolute mission. Oh, I did not expect this river to be this hard, but definitely uh, makes you work for these little beautiful spots like this. Back against the rock when I get. Oh, that's that's oh. when it stitches in bum. On a spot. Can't believe he's out here with stitches. In stitches, bum. I know. I don't yeah, even want to know how infected these things are. Anyway, yeah. so given the fact that we've just absolutely punished ourselves mm, the last two days, yep. I think we uh, have earned ourselves a nice little cocktail. Oh! oh, oh uh, you don't even know what we've got, do you? No, what's he, what's he got for us? What's in stall? Probably just a gin and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> Couple I like pop. pina colada. Oh, <laughs> hectic! How's that gonna go? Oh, mate. Please tell me you like pina colada. 
Oh, dude. If you don't, yes. get out of here. I love <laughs> pina coladas. So, alright, we've got a little empty Nalgene. That can be a little shaker. Some white rum. Let's drop it all in, eh? This is actually a, uh, an ancient remedy for spray, sprained an ankles. It is actually, yeah. In Cuba, this is what they do. Yeah, in Cuba. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how is the ankle feeling, mate? It's not too bad. Like, I'll be able to hike out of here. Uh, thank God, obviously. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I won't have to live here forever. Yeah. It's not too bad out here, but I think once I'm in the comfort of my home and I've got some ice on it, and I've been, you know, taking weight off it for like a couple of hours, I think... I'll be just gobsmacked How you that this. I yeah. was out here. Yeah. It's just Moving such difficult place. terrain. Like, this is one place you do not want to sprain your ankle. As soon as it happened, I don't think I said it to the camera earlier, but as soon as it happened, um, I felt the pain. I went down, yelled out, and then it's Scotty sort of coming over to see if I'm all right. And I'm like, yeah, I don't think it's too bad. And, and he was like, take a seat, because I was about to fall over again. And I sat down, the second I sat down, it was as if it was almost like, maybe just brought on from a bit of the, the shock of realizing how bad this could be because of where we are. I started feeling a bit nauseous and, and sick. Yeah. So I just laid down. I think that's when Scotty started filming me I did, actually. Yeah, I was like, oh, he's lying down, this is serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it, it came and went in about a minute. Yeah, it scared me because I was like, oh no, am I, is my body making me like queasy because I've broken something? Yeah. Or, but I think it was just a bit of shock. Well, hopefully, um, yeah, it doesn't flare up too much for tomorrow. Yeah. We shall see. Yeah, we will. We shall see. So we've also just got some, what is it, coconut cream in this as well? Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. A few years ago, I was watching Scotty on YouTube thinking, damn, that looks epic. What a cool dude. Now he's here. <laughs> now he's here just making me pina coladas. <laughs> <laughs> How far we've come. Collected all the firewood. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Mate, at least you got an excuse, right? Sprained yeah. ankle. Sprained ankle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I went to snap one of the sticks that I used to my shelter and I like went to lift this foot and I was like, whoa, oh. do not do that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. To, uh, on a hell of a trip. <laughs> this is survival. <laughs> this is survival out here. Oh, oh that's so good. Yeah. Oh man, that hit the spot. That it's so, so creamy good. with that coconut milk too. Oh, that's so tasty. I was, yeah. gonna, I was trying to find the little umbrellas as well to put in it. <laughs> 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 I couldn't find them. <laughs> that would have been smug. Oh, man, this is living. Yeah, like I was saying, it's survival out here. <laughs> Oh, that's actually great. That's Thank so you. That is so good. Very much appreciated right now. Well, we are buggered. I think it's like 7.40, so the sun's pretty much set now. Yeah. Probably like another 20 minutes until it's dark. Just enjoy the fire, get some food cooked up in a second, and yeah. crawl back into that swag and just... Pass out for three Pass days out. straight, probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. What a trip. Yeah. See, what, uh, see what's in store for tomorrow then, eh? That's it. Cheers. Oh man, I'm excited to drink this. Yeah. That's so That's good. good. Well, it is raining. It has not stopped raining all night. How good is this, mate? Mother Nature! <laughs> I beg you for mercy! <laughs> I I might die getting out of here. <laughs> Let's not say that, I don't want to jinx ourselves. <laughs>
today is just gonna be one of those days we just gotta suck it up and push through. <laughs> it's really starting to come down now, the rain. Um, and I just chucked the drone up and man, it looks like some bloody crazy terrain ahead. Like the mountains and the mist look insane, but also just like the river looks very rocky. So unfortunately not ideal conditions when you've got a bloke with a sprained ankle, but uh, We'll have to yeah, try and do our best. It's just gonna be really tricky trying to just keep our footing because these rocks are so bloody slippery when they're wet. So we're just gonna have to be really careful about ourselves, take our time. Um, like I said, I think it's about three kilometers or three and a half Ks until we meet uh, the junction to this other river. And then from that point, it's um, yeah, pretty cru um, yeah, cruisy sailing. But yeah, like I said, three kilometers doesn't sound like much, but moving through this terrain with heavy, heavy packs a pack raft in hand, a sprained ankle. It's, oh, it's tough work. All right, well, we packed up camp, both feeling and looking very much like drowned rats right now. But uh, yeah, the rain's kind of held off a little bit. It's still is sprinkling a bit, but let's see how we go. Oh. Literally like four steps, I nearly slipped. This is so slippery this, oh, this is honestly like unwalkable that kind of stuff so we're really trying to take our time now like we're walking so slow making sure every footing is solid so the last thing we want is another injury we'd rather take take 10 hours to do this rather than uh yeah someone fall over and break the leg Looks very much like a, a rocky gorge, mate. Things gonna be a lot of walking today. All right, well, we're thinking we're just gonna deflate the rafts and just hike on the river. I think it's just gonna be a lot quicker than trying to carry them and a lot safer as well. Yeah, it's really pretty. Really nice. We just come to this really beautiful little spot. It's gorgeous here. All of the mist on top of the mountains, big rocky outcrop and a beautiful pool. It's actually been quite a nice walk, quite pretty challenging, but there's some really beautiful sections. She's just found a long neck turtle. I think we just farted on it. Oh, it's a bit smelly, eh? It really stinks. He stinks. I literally heard like a... Wow, it really smells. Like... I wonder if it's like a defense mechanism. <laughs> oh. We just saw another red belly black snake just sither along. It's gone underneath that big rock. It's just crazy, like you can't even see it. This goes to show they can be hiding absolutely anywhere. Is that some snake skin? Yeah, wow. So just had a quick little check of the old maps. Honestly guys, <laughs> this place is a bloody time warp. So I've been walking for two hours now and it looks like we've only done about a K and a half, which we have absolutely no idea how that's the case. We honestly thought we we're getting pretty close to the end and then pulled out the maps and <laughs> got a, a rude awakening. So, uh, honestly, this place is just an absolute grind. Like it's been a really beautiful walk today. We've actually really enjoyed the walking, 
but I just can't believe how far behind we are. So, just gotta keep at it. <laughs> we'll eventually get there. Yep, it's raining. All right, we just pulled over for another water break. So it's now one o'clock, so we've been walking for yeah, three hours. And I think we've done maybe just over two and a half k's. Some of the slowest walking I've ever done. <laughs> Nearly there. We bloody did it, guys. We've uh, just left the other river. We've just hit the junction of this main river. Hey man, <laughs> what a mission. What an absolute mission. Massey's just spotted some carp on the other side of the bank, so he's just crossed the river and he's hell bent on trying to catch a carp before the end of the trip. Oh, looks like he's on. Oh! <laughs> we did it! We bloody did it. We worked hard for that one, mate. We did. <laughs> oh, not bad size. Not Nearly. bad, good size. Nearly as big as my bicep. So trip completed. Well, trip completed. <laughs> we did it. Now let's rid the water away of this thing. Woo. Well, mate, we bloody did it. We bloody did do it, I'll tell you that. <laughs> that was uh, definitely up there with one of the toughest slogs I think we've done. I think I might also. Yeah. Ankle wrapped up, that's <laughs> what it was. Just, You're right. go, just goes to show, when you're looking at satellite maps at home, sometimes it just does not translate to reality. So, Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hey, See ya. Mother Nature, <laughs> I beg you for mercy. I, I might die getting out of here. <laughs>